So today I am going to show you a video of me shading this trainer picture. I'll show you how to draw this gridded trainer in another video and this is just continuing from that. So I've got a few different pencils here. I've got 4B, 2B and HB. The first thing is when it comes to shading is shading is you attempting to add the tone from the picture. So you're adding the dark and light areas that you can see. So it's not that you're attempting to colour it in, you are looking at where you can see the darkest areas, then looking at where you can see the lightest areas, and then doing the variations in between. Shading is much easier from a black and white photograph, or if you're just practicing from a drawing, first of all. So I'm gonna be working from this photograph here. So first thing you want to do when you have a picture in front of you is just identify where the dark and light tones are. If you look in this, this section here, it's much darker than some of the rest of the image. And then they've got dark sections here in between the Velcro and the trainer where things overlap and then along down the side of the trainer. Where I've got areas of light are where it's actually white on the trainer. So I've got around the angle here, the label and then the sole of the shoe. But I've also got a highlight from where the shoe is shiny and that appears on the Velcro and along the, sh the shoe here. The rest of the shoe will then appear in tones of grey. Yes, there will be some darker tones and there will be some lighter tones, but it's important not to just shade it in one colour and say that's it. By adding tone, we help to make something that's 2D, a drawing, look 3D. So if you watch the previous video, you will see um, me completing this tonal scale. Now it's really important that if you want to do a successful tonal drawing that you Im use both of these techniques. So you use a whole range of tones, so from dark tones to light tones, as well as blending between tones. So when I approach a drawing, I first of all add the darkest areas first, then I look at where the light areas are, and then I'll add the rest of the tone. If at any point you find yourself rubbing over the drawing with your hand, use a scrap piece of paper to just rest your hand on so that the rest of your drawing doesn't smudge. So I'm actually just gonna start with the 2B pencil, first of all, and I'm gonna carefully go over the darkest areas that I can see. So remember when we're shading, we're shading in one direction, nice and evenly, not pressing hard, the idea is, is that you start off light and then you build up layers because otherwise you're just going to hurt your hand. So nice and neatly, first of all, just an even coat. Also, by pressing lightly, it means you won't get pencil lines in it. Um, if you press hard, sometimes you do get pencil lines. And then it does appear darker than that, so then you can just go over that again. Now, to me, this does look like it is one tone. It is just dark on the inside. So I've added the smaller dark bits. I know I've got to shade darker along this side here as well, and I'm gonna do that in a second, but I just wanted to remind you about blending. So remember when you're blending, you're working softly with just an even pressure on your pencil. And what you can do is just shade evenly. So you put all of your shading lines close together in one direction. And as you want it to get lighter, you put less pressure on the pencil and then what you can do to make the darker tones darker is just go over them again with your pencil. So it is all about changing the pressure as well as going back over areas you want to be darker. I'm now gonna look at where the lightest areas are and I'm gonna use a HB pencil to just sketch those out very, very lightly. So I know that I can see about a line here and then on the shoes here as well. 
And I think that's it of the actual highlights, maybe a tiny bit on the edge here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and shade the rest of the shoe. So I'm looking carefully at the picture. I'm shading nice and neatly and lightly. And then I'll go in with a really sharp pencil at the end and add any final details.
I've essentially finished the drawing. I've done all the basic shading. And now what I'm going to do is look back and just see if I need to neaten any edges, sharpen any lines or add any details. In this drawing there's quite a lot of stitching detail um, and I haven't added that yet but I think I might go back and add just some of the detail and just refine some of the lines now. I am going to um, use one of these which is a mechanical pencil so it's got small rubber on the end and it's just a really sharp um, point and I'm just going to use that to add in some of the details and just sharpen some of the lines. And that is my completed drawing with shading of a shoe.